I'm back to warm up. But love you persevered. Persevered. And it was all part of the plan. You know, God knows what he's doing at all times. Somebody really needs to go heal them, go heal. Uh, they're gonna get that opportunity when they're locked up in prison for the rest of their lives. But somebody is really furious, right? Not just this one person, a few people, but somebody is really, really fuming, beloved, fuming because they could not lie on you and get it to stick. The spell work that they've been doing for the last year and a half, they couldn't get it to stick. Okay? The money they borrowed from loan sharks because the plan was to kill you and take you out and take this money and divvy it up between everybody and pay back said loan sharks. But that didn't happen. That didn't happen because it wasn't supposed to happen. It was never going to happen. It was a setup from the beginning. 144 in the timer. Why they thought you were, they were setting you up, even when you had no idea yet, when they thought they were setting you up, they were being set up by God. Okay? This is what they keep on... They keep leaving God out of the equation and they think that they're coming against you. They think they're coming against you and I, but they're coming against God and nobody wins against God. Nobody. Yet they thought they could. And they're fuming like they are really broken up because they couldn't take what belonged to you and look good in front of some people that don't give two damn pennies about them. You're supposed to be sick. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be on drugs. Was their plan. You're supposed to be uh, uh, depressed. Walking around, moping, sobbing. Life sucks. Depressed. Hating the world. But you're not. They are. Do you see how God set it up, though? Do you see how your angelic team was just sitting there like this? Every time that they were doing something, your angelic team was just sitting there, just like this. You see these? You see these? See these fools? Yeah, yeah. Oh well, no, no, no. Let's 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 let them get a little further. Let them think that they're doing something, and then we gonna we gonna the whole time. And this, you already knew, which is why you're able to not worry about anything, you know, do the, do the, the things you were called to do, do the things that you were sent here to do, be in your purpose, be on your path, minding your own business, 444 on my timer, but they just could not mind theirs. But Levy, can you just imagine, right? So those of you, you don't even have to imagine because this is actually, it's factual for you in your story. 
but but like for 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 instance, me for instance, right? I couldn't imagine, you know, the thing that did make me it kind of pissed me off and f made me fuming, right? Was the fact that my grandfather was harmed in all of this, and some people, some ratchet, low life snakes, thieves, cowards, most of them grown men. thought that they were gonna take something that belonged to my grandfather, somebody they don't even know, never knew. Thought that they were entitled to what he worked his life for, that he left for me. They thought that they were entitled to it. And they're so furious that they can't have it. Five, five, five on my timer. That is a psychopath. Ran by demons. Demons. How can a person be so pissed off, so fuming, so raging? Because they weren't able to steal something that was never meant to be for them in the first place. How? And this person was really serious. Like, serious. Like they have the right to be upset. Like they have the right to be mad. You're a thief. You're a thief, a literal thief, a liar, a cheater. And you're mad because you couldn't steal what wasn't yours? You're mad that you couldn't take a man's money who's not here anymore? A man that you helped in some way, shape, or form remove out of the situation so that you... And, and, and let's not forget, you, you sleep with your person's mother while you're with your person behind their back. You sleep with their sister and their family members behind their back. And you're not disgusted with yourself? That's what I'd be mad at. That I lay down with my, my boyfriend or my girlfriend's parent. Ugh. Ugh. And even got married to them. Ew. Ew. Incest with family members. Ew. And you're mad about something that you could not forcefully take from another person who did nothing to you who actually came to help you, who actually loved you at one point in time. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. There's not one lick of sense in it. Not one. All of these people are crazy. Beyond crazy. 9 11, I just saw on the timer. Beyond crazy, beloved. And now, it's time to get shackled up. It's time to get on that bus. You know that white, that white penitentiary bus? Yeah, all those people that you were working hand in hand with, yeah, y'all about to be chained hand in hand, hand to feet. <laughs> That's what you should be mad about. 
that you were so stupid that you thought that you can do this and pull it off in the first place. And go around God, go under God, go behind God, like God does not have power over you. And over all of creation. And even over Satan, which you have been calling upon to try to cover your little stinky, funky tracks. Praying to demons as though, as though, as if demons have authority over God. As if demons don't have to get permission from the Most High to do what you're asking them, begging them to do, worshiping them to do, sacrificing to them to do. You're buying animals just to sacrifice them. A cat, next month you got a new dog. Doing satanic rituals in the 11, 11 on time, doing satanic rituals, uh, 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 that, that, that you have to eat feces, that you have to have sex uh, uh, with, with, I don't know how it works, but I know that the kingdom of darkness is filth. I know that. It's filth. If God is holy and everything is clean on his side, then everything on the enemy side is filth. So that means you have to do some pretty, disgusting, filthy vile things. Everything on the list though, it's not, it's not limited. It's not limited at all. There's child molestation involved. There's rape involved. These things have to take place for these rituals. It has to be pain, grief, uh, uh, hatred, uh, forced will. It has to be all feces, urine, it has to be all of these things, drinking blood. And these people went through all of this to try to take something that never belonged to them in the first place. And it's not the first time they've done it. They've been doing it for years. You and I were just the last stop. I just saw one, two, three, four on my timer. You and I were the last stop. It was their last stitch effort to climb out of this cesspool that they are now gonna live in permanently until they die. But they're going to live out the suffering that they tried to put on you. They're going to experience it. Every drop, every drop. You don't just get a quick ticket out of here. No, you're going to experience every excruciating second of what you tried to do, of what you did do. Not only what you did to the chosen ones, but what you've done to people over the years. Your life is over. Over. All to your hatred and your greed and your narcissistic attitude that everything has to be my way, my, mine, mine. People have to see me, me and all, and all of my grand grandiosity. When you're not grand, you're lazy. You're lazy, you're a liar, you're a thief, you're a cheater, you're a killer. You're all of those things. Not the things on our side of the track. Light and dark do not dwell in the same space. Darkness cannot exist where there is light. Beloved, there's a pastor that stepped down from pastoring because he was a part of this and he's catching hell from the divine. Straight up retired out the pulpit. Mm-hmm. Or, or should I say the podium. Yeah. Hung up his... Hung it up. 
hung it up. Said he's done. Why? Because he was doing an evil against a child of God when he's supposed to be in the house of God doing God's work. Hmm? Yet we're the wicked ones, we're the evil ones, right? We're the witches and the warlocks, right? The ones up here freeing the captives, right? Oh, but because we, we the name spirituality, because of the name spirituality, you, you think that's something uh, uh, that you can switch or turn around on us and make the public view us a certain way? And then you can go behind the scenes under, under the cover of darkness and do your little witchery to try to prove what you say to be true about us and about God. And it is not. And you thought that nothing was going to happen to you? You thought that you were free and clear and under control? Some of them are even pretending like their lives aren't falling apart so that you don't know. As if we do not know, as if we did not prophesy this to these people. We know what's happening to you. We told you what would happen to you years ahead. We watched you watch it come to pass. Yet you think you're hiding the fact that it's coming to pass from us? What is wrong with you? Who are you acting for? There's no sense in that. None. None. Now, the truth is out. The truth is being seen because God revealed the truth. Not only God, but who we are is modeled in our everyday life. It's called consistency. Are we perfect? Absolutely not. But the name of the game is consistency. What type of fruit are you bearing in your garden? Hmm? What type of work are you putting out? Because you see, uh, not one of us is up here doing this for some type of monetary gain. Not one. 1818 on the timer. Yet, you guys have been plagiar plagiarizing off of us. Actually earning money off of what we've been giving. You're watching us, studying us, taking it to another platform that you know we're not going to be on or that we're not on. And then you regurgitate it to people that are under your spell. People that you actually do spell work over. You don't even understand the things that you're taking from us to go say over there. You don't even understand it to regurgitate it. We don't have to tell you how foolish you look. We, we, we don't. Because the truth is out. You see how that works? The truth is out. You see how the truth uh, 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 takes care of itself? Hmm? How no stone goes unturned. No matter what you try to hide. God is glorifying his name and he'll do it again. He's going to do it again. He's going to keep on doing it again and again and again and again. And again. You were missing the point the whole time. 
The point is that you're not over God. You are the creation, not the creator. That's why God gave you over to a reprobate mind. Because that's what you asked for. That's what you asked for. You asked for illusions, delusion. To the point where you, you believed your own mess. You believed your own nonsense. If that is not delusion and, 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 and just insanity, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. You know you're a liar, cheater, and thief, and you believe your lies. <laughs> you, you believe your lies. You, 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 you defeated yourself in the beginning. You defeated yourself in the beginning. It would have been better for you. What the Bible said, it would have been better for you to have a millstone tied around your neck and for you to be thrown in the ocean and sink down to the bottom. For you to ever, for you to ever have even thought to put your hands on a chosen one. On a child of God, period. You know what? Let's even go even further to say on anybody, period. Because you don't have the right to harm anyone else. Especially if they have not harmed you. You don't have the right to harm people, to break up homes, to break up marriages, to satisfy yourself. You don't have the right. And you're going to pay for every family you've broken up, for every marriage you've come in between, for everything that you've stolen from someone, claiming it to be yours, for every lie that you've told on people for every sexual assault that you forced yourself on somebody yeah 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 I I'll talk about that until and until you receive what you're meant to receive because you know how that feels yet you decided to do it to somebody else You get no mercy. None. None. 2233, I just saw on the time. You get no mercy. So, yeah. That's what's going on, people. Um, and still, I don't wish any ill will on you people. I don't. I don't. I never have. I never have. <laughs> All I've simply done is regurgitated back to you. What you've put out, spoken on the evil things that you've been doing in the dark. While, when people were still believing you, when people were uh, uh, looking at us like we were foolish and, and crazy. That's all right. We don't mind looking crazy. Don't care. Don't care. That goes along with, with not caring what people think about you. That, that just, it goes with it. The truth will always come out. The truth will always prevail. Always. Always. And it has done it again. And it will continue to do it. From the top to the bottom. I love y'all, beloved. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.